Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll see how to connect with Google Drive and then get files from a specific folder from Google Drive in Studio Web. So I've opened Studio Web, click on new project, and I'm giving files from the folder. I'm selecting to uh, trigger manually, just creating it. So firstly, we have to connect to Google. So let's go for that. And then the activity that we are going to use is get files or folders, folder list from Google Drive. So this is for Microsoft. And then here we have uh, two activities. So we use list. It will take some time to install. Let's open it. So I've already connected now. That's why it is showing by default. If I just remove this. So you can see under uh, integration services, I have for already made the connection. I'll just remove the existing one and then I'll connect again. So now the connection is gone. Let's delete this activity. Now it is gone. So now just click on connect to Google Drive. And then it will open you a separate session. Then there you have to click on connect. It will ask you to sign in. So that's it. You just have to uh, give your credentials if it has asked. And then just click on continue. It will automatically connect. And now we have to give the location from where we have to get these files. So I'm opening my drive. So I have in my drive, I have invoices. So I want to print the names of these invoices. I mean, I have to do some work with some with these uh, invoices. So I'm giving, I'm going to give invoices folder and then let's print the file names. Select the folder icon and then go, select the root and then my drive. And then invoices. Click on save. So now we give gave the location. Now let's see what are the additional options we have. So uh, this one needs to limit the first 200 files. And then uh, we just have to mention the number there. And then if there are uh, subfolders, then we can also give files and folders. So it will give subfolders also. And if you have to just retrieve only folders, then select folders. So I'm just keeping files. And then if you, if you want only start, then keep this true. If you have additional filters, you can add. And then uh, the output will be the retrieved files and folder list. So now we just loop to that list and then print the file name. For that, let's take for each. Then here I need to use the output that has output variable that has been created by get file or folder list. Click on add, or you can just click here itself, and then you can select the activity and then select the retrieved files or folders. So now we selected the list and then this will be the index for, for example in in general for each we'll have i right so for like, like how i is there this is similar to i click on two additional options you can mention the condition here you don't have to use if you have any condition like it starts with a then only loop if you have such conditions you can just give it here you don't need to have a separate uh, i this one is for maximum iterations if you have 400 then you just have to limit to first 200 then mention the 200 here it will limit only it will run only for 200 times now this will be the body of the for each click on add and then i'll take a right line and then under for each activity i need to print uh, j remove item i mean this will be the index and then within that i need name so if you just click on arrow you'll see full name click on full name and then that will give you the full name i'll just run the bot So if you see here, it printed invoice sample and then payslip jpg. So those are the two files that are available in my invoices.
that's all for today if you have any feedbacks ping in the comment section and then see you in next video thank you and happy automation